And welcome back to Ducks of the Gaming and Riverview Farm. That's right, we are back here at Riverview, continuing on with our farming exploits in FS22. All right, so um, we are continuing on to harvest our wheat here on this field. Um, this is our combined 7-8 field. We also have to do our wheat that's up on top of the hill near the windmill. And uh, we've got to get that going as well. So without further ado, let's just get him tracking again. He's on a course play course. So he's going to get him started and off he goes. Now, a um, couple of things. We did collect the bales from the grass field, field five, and we've put them just to the side down near the field, uh, and that's okay. What I did want to do, though, is I want to go over and have a look at the island because I did play around with the island a little bit. Um, I know I was going to show most of the uh, landscaping and stuff, um, but I have played around with it a little bit. I've now got the ability to put trees in. I've got the uh, Allow More Trees mod. Um, so uh, let's go and have a bit of a look-see. And, and let me now know in the comments whether you like what we've done. Now, it's only temporary because we might end up wiping pump part of it out with buildings, but um, let's go and have a look. All right, so here we are at the factory, and um, we've got some some fruit salad out here, or salad. Uh, what have we got there? We've got salad. All right, anyway, this is what we've done. Let me go into, I'll quickly go into fly mode um, so we can see what we've done. That um, makes it a bit easier. All right, so you can see there's been a few trees added. These are... Uh, non-deciduous trees, um, the maple trees or whatever they are, the like willows or whatever, they've been added in. As to this little area here, um, we've got a little pond in here. So I just thought I'd make it back to, we've landscaped it a little bit um, post uh, removing everything else and uh, terraforming the island. So yeah, we've just prettied up the area down here near the bakery and the tailor's house uh, or tailor's shop. And uh, yeah, I think that looks a little bit nicer than now. So, uh, yeah, that's what we've done. So, uh, it's all tickety-boo, ready to put more stuff in. Now, what else we're going to put in here, I don't really know for the moment. Um, we're not going to, like I said, we're not going to expand out too quick. Um, not not excessively quick. Um, just come down and we'll show you our little pond area there. So, yeah, we're, um, we're not going to expand out too quick, but... Um, we're going to do it in, in stages, so we just need to be careful of how we, we go about that. But anyway, I think that I think that adds a little bit of uh, more um, what's the, what's the, well more theme um, and more ambiance to the to the island area. Now we've we have raised a little bit of area up, so it's not just dead flat. So this area here at the end of the factory has been raised up a little. So yeah, we've just um, just cleared it up a little bit. Now the other thing I was going to do as well. Um, speaking of which, um, I was going to go in here. I was going to look at placing a couple of um, little decoration pieces. Um, now, got the factory there. Uh, da, 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 what was I going to look at doing? Um, bum, 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 bum. Was it there? No. Who was I going to do that? I was going to do that this side, wasn't I? Um, I was going to put. I've just pressed the wrong key and I've gone off my window. Um, we were going to put in... Yeah. Right. I was going to put in um, this. Like that. Like that. Um, and I was going to put another one in, but it's going to be here. It's not going to work that way. But anyway, we've got that in there. Um, I wanted to put in a couple other little things. Oh, there's the TARDIS. It's Doctor Who's present. What's that one there? Public mailbox. Um, so these these are all just things you, you come with a, a placeable pack. Um, I just thought they were down fountain. Just to sort of give it a little bit of um, a bit more look and feel. Substation. I was thinking about putting some rocks in, just sort of randomly around, just sort of helps it um, the look and feel. Anyway, I'm not going to go too from too much through town, but just showing that you can actually get some some decoration items. What's these gas cylinder gas cylinder cage? Um, that you can you can use. 
to to fluff out your farm. And as you can see, some of the items are here. Um, so they're common use. So I'm going to put that there, for instance. I guess we have some, even though I've put it halfway in the wall, uh, we've got some gas cylinders there. So, um, yeah. Um, some uh, concrete roadblocks, so we can, we can put them out too if we wanted to and, and block off certain areas. Um, but yeah. Oh, sorry, I was going to put a car park here, wasn't I? That's where I was going to put it. It was here. Uh, and because it's um, not the drop-off point on this side, so I'm just going to put that there like that. All right. It just gives the indication that you just more um, more lived in that, isn't it? So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting time. Right, let's get out of there. So, uh, so yeah, that's all we've done. Anyway, hope you like that, um, but we'll be back over here doing some more stuff once we've got more money and all that sort of stuff. All right, so we're about to finish this field here. We're going to need to come down and get the straw and uh, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, now with our grass, I, I was, what I was contemplating doing is baling the straw. Um, but I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to do that. I'm just going to go and collect it. Um, I'm not going to use him... Uh, we've got a bit of oil there now too, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to use this guy. All right. Well, no, I didn't want to collect the trailer. All right, cows look as though they're okay. Okay, they've got plenty of stuff there. I'm just going to go and grab the loading wagon so we can go and collect our straw. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, um, I'm going to offload the combine. I'm going to send the combine up to the wheat, the other wheat field and get him started up there. All right. Where are we going? But yeah, so we spent a little bit of time doing that, so um, with the island, but uh, yeah, I, th I don't think at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we'd need to put in there. Um, the fruit processing factory we're not going to worry about because we haven't got any orchards. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else I'd need to put in there for the moment. But anyway, all right, so um, we've got him here now. All right. Now, um, I'm just thinking, can I get this guy? I think I'm going to be able to get him up. This problem yesterday. Um, where I can't get in, couldn't get in and out of the combine. See, I can't get in. I can't get back in. Oh, is that because... I've still got that. Maybe, well, it shouldn't be because... Yeah, okay, that's better. All right. Um, I'm going to see if we can get this up there without... Uh, Put in the trailer, put it on the trailer, the head on the trailer. So I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't know I'm not going to be able to. So we're going to put the header on the trailer and just head up there normally. Um, now, obviously, he was set to auto unload because he auto unloaded onto the um, into that trailer, which is why he was in the position he was in, which is fine. So that means you don't have to worry about offloading anything. And you just come straight up, put this on the trailer, and then uh, head up to the other field. Okay. The trailer. Here we go. And off we go. I hope everyone's doing well. We are doing well here today, and uh, we've just got another day of rain. We just. We yeah, had one day of sunshine, I think, and that's all we've had in between uh, the last lot of flooding and the next bit of rain. So uh, we just can't take a trick here at the moment. We've, we've, oh, well, well, right, just, just doing a bit of four-wheel driving. Um, I think we've had as much rain here almost in like a month and a half, two or two, three months. 
um, for the whole year. Um, it's been ridiculous. The last, what, five days we've had um, 400 mil or something like that. Something stupid and ridiculous as well. So, anyway. All right, um, I'm going to put the trailer there. Right. Come back. Grab the trailer. Yeah, you know, I have put myself in a bit of a predicament here. I know it's going to be a bit tight. Being the understatement. I was busy before we can get to the field. All right. Let's unfold. And we'll set him up. I'm going to set him up on a course pack loss and it's going to get him started here. A little bit right. Let's uh, set him up. Then we can go and collect some uh, some straw. A lot of the fields down here are ready for harvest. Not that we own them, but um, just shows the season we're sort of in at the moment. But uh, nonetheless, let's go. Let's create job. Uh, whoops! I want to do that one first. Maybe this one. I'm going to do right close and see how close I can get that CP field work. Yep, that's okay. Uh, actually. Target is not in the field. That's interesting. Target is not in the field. Right. Let's go. There we go. That's better. Right. Um, 8.5 meter, number of headlands. I probably only need to do two headlands here. 5% uh, headland overlap. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go with that uh, as it goes and does saving. Right, do you know the field work course? There we go. That should be okay. Let's escape out of that. And we're gonna pull him back. Why is the start there? Um, let me have a look. I'm gonna have a look at this and see what he's got. So he's got um, start, stop. No, you know what? Let's just let's just get him going. I'm not going to fart ass about. I'll just be interested to see what he does. Um, nearest waypoint, first waypoint. Yeah, fold yourself up. All right, let's see how he manages this. Oh, let's just put the start point over here. Okay, all right, that's fine. It is going that way. Thought it was going that way for some reason. We'll let him continue on with that. So he should be okay now. All right. In the meantime, all right, we want to grab the straw off the deck. So we'll get that done. So we did, um, I don't know if I really mentioned it to you as well, we did actually, after the we put our poll out uh, and said about um, whether we should remove uh, edges and things like that as we needed to on land we owned, um, we did remove some of the hedges uh, and as per 
um, the result of the the poll, it was um, you, the viewers, decided that uh, it was okay to remove hedges and that uh, on areas that we owned. Um, so we've done that in some places, not all. But uh, we're not going to remove all the hedges because the hedges do look okay. But as you know, certainly up the top there, as we're looking now towards the cow barn, uh, we've removed the, removed the hedge that's on the border of field 910 uh, and the farm itself. Um, and other areas we've, we've sort of removed it where it was a bit tight or causing issues with, um, with the field and that. Uh, there is one field where I need to remove some trees from the side of the field uh, because it does cause issues all the time. Uh, with turning unless I do like four hedgerows um, but if I do four hedgerows then it causes other issues and the fact of the tracking and all that is, is all over the place so um, we do need to make an adjustment to there that's one of the newer fields we bought over on the uh, the eastern side of the map as we're looking at it now um, but otherwise yeah we're um, I think we're in a pretty good position here at the moment we're um, powering through we just need to make some money now and then um, keep on expanding and we're not buying the biggest and, and best of all the machinery obviously because there's just no need for it we haven't got huge fields so there's no there's no need to get um, the biggest tractors and biggest seeders and, and implements and stuff like that while it will make it a lot quicker uh, there's no point putting a, like a 30 foot seeder on here when we've only got a field that's 150 foot wide so yeah it's uh horses for courses at this stage all right so the combine has uh he's moving along okay he's got 46 percent he's been at the moment so he's to be moving he's just um negotiating around corners or something at the moment or he's stuck one of the two probably probably more likely stuck let's go up and have a look with this piece here done and i'll go up and have a look and see what's going on with him you can see him there i think he's got stuck on the hedge after we're just talking about hedges and, and removing some not all Right, let's quickly go up and see what he's doing. Oh, there he goes. Of course he was moving. No, I was misreading for the Massey Ferguson. Anyway, that's alright, that's my bad. Alright, let's continue on. <clears throat> so the animals I think and all that are okay at the moment as well, so we're not going to worry about the animals today. We're just going to get the, uh, the straw picked up, the wheat harvested, um, and then we can move on ready for the next uh the next phase of harvesting and everything else remembering that we are in a non seasons or seasonal growth um gameplay this one uh, is just uh what i refer to now as a naked game it doesn't have um seasonal growth on so um the the cycles are a lot quicker so once we finish harvesting we can turn it around and plant it pretty much straight away uh, and then it'll be harvesting again within a short period of time so um so yeah that's why we're uh we're busy all the time pretty much because um there is no stagnant period between um the growing period and then also the um the preparation period Actually, I better take the other truck up there, or the tractor up there, this guy, because otherwise he's going to want to off offload. He's going to have nowhere to offload. So just to make sure he's got somewhere to offload, we'll, we'll go and sort that out. So the, off this field so far, 36,000. I don't know if that, I can't remember if that was the other field as well. I don't remember offloading it. Oh, we must have because it was sunflower. Um, so 36,000 off this field as we've just um, left. So, um, not a huge amount, but again, as we said, we're, we're using smaller fields, so it's not going to be a huge harvest as we almost tip the trailer over. Nothing new there. Oh, 
All right, we're going to park ourselves in here. All right, hopefully that's enough out of the way. If not, we'll find out soon enough. All right, let's continue on with the straw harvest. Yeah, so as, as you saw with the island, we um, so having the, the more trees mod, I think it is, or plant more trees or something like that, um, which is on the in-game mod hub. Sorry, a bit dry in the throat. Uh, I'm going to have to have a wet the whistle moment in a second. Um, yeah, having having that mod means that we can uh, we can bypass the the warning basically, which is to there can't put any more trees down on the map. So. It's an inbuilt, obviously, a thing with giants they've put onto um, onto the game that once you get a certain count of trees, you can't add any more because of performance issues, basically. Um, and I get that and I understand that entirely. I don't have a problem with that because their tree count is very high. Um, so it's, there's no issue. I, I get that because the, tr the, the, the map does look very nice, all the trees around. However... Um, there needs to be uh, some options available to open things up. It's the same as the pallets. Mm. Me. Um, yeah, same as the pallets and the fact that PC players should be given the option of to what their limits are and setting their limits because as the rain starts coming down a lot, a lot heavier here at home. Um, because... I'm, I'm not seeing any performance issues with all the trees, and I've added a few extra trees in. So obviously, um, this PC, being a fairly new and highly spec PC, um, basically, I mean, we're running uh, 3080, we're running um, 12th gen CPU, we're running 64 gig of RAM, we're running... The RAM is slower than what it could have been, so I could speed the RAM up a bit. Um, although the, the cost of RAM and to get 64 gig... So basically, this machine is running 3200 spec RAM uh, 60 and 64 gig, like I said. Um, but to get the same spec and get it in uh, 4200 RAM, for instance, it is DDR4, um, would still be about a grand. Um, I haven't got that money just to throw around a load. I need to fix our air conditioner and other things before I, I do that. And that's even out of service, out of um, lip way at the moment. Um, so. Yeah, we, we don't have too much of an issue in relation to um, the capability of, of keeping up with the drawing of all the trees. So it'd be nice if I had the option to go in and say, right, the limit for this map or this save game is going to be, instead of it saying arbitrarily, say, 2,000 trees, well, it's now going to be 2,500. Um, or I can just say, ignore the limit. And then it just lets me arbitrarily do what I like. So, um, so yeah, but anyway. That sort of thing. Now, the other thing I did notice too, which was quite good, there is a new mod out on the mod hub as well, which is to control the growth of the trees. Um, and, and what that is, is basically you can um, control the growth speed of all the different trees you can plant on your map. So for instance, I could say uh, for willows or whatever, for, for instance, I could say they're going to grow at a certain rate and other trees, say pines, are going to grow a lot slower. Um, and they would actually grow at at those those speeds and I think that's a wonderful idea um, but I haven't played with forestry or trees too much because I just don't tend to like it so um, yeah but we, we may do some forestry on here um, I'll see but the, the problem with doing forestry on here is I'd have to have the Ponzi scorpion or something like that or the Komatsu um, I don't do manual tree lopping and cutting and all that sort of stuff and I need to have a good auto load trailer um, for logs so um, yeah We'll have a look and we'll probably do it. So let me know, actually let me know in the comments down below as we get close to the end of this episode. Do you want me to do a little bit of logging on this map? In in my preferred way, not not any other way. I'll, I'll do it my way. So, um, but if you'd like to see a little bit of logging 
um, then let me know. Maybe we can get the, um, the furniture running and things like that as a production point. But yeah, so, so let me know in the comments down below. All right. I'm not going to worry about picking up all the little bits and pieces. It's one of the reasons why I was thinking about um, baling it, actually, is, is getting a, the baler uh, and just baling it up as hay and using it that way. I mean, probably no reason why I can't. And if, if the baler that I'm after comes on the used sales, I'll probably jump at it and do it. But for now, we'll just leave it like this. What I would probably end up doing is I might end up buying, um, as we finish that off, I might end up buying the um, the bigger windrower, um, so I can windrow the straw into bigger heaps, so with a bigger gap between windrows, so we can actually uh, do less runs to collect the straw. Because with this combine, I mean, obviously the the head is not very wide, so you've got all your windrows are actually quite close. So I'm just going to go up here. I'm actually going to start clicking the straw off here. I'm going to get a full load before I go up and offload it. Ah, oh, okay. All right, bit of a bit of a log jam up here. He's not entirely happy with um. The position of the the truck tractor and trailer where i put it that's okay oh he needs a bit of a service this combine as well but i think he was trying to just turn and do start up downs but uh a bit confuzzled we'll offload him i'm going to set him to his last waypoint Then what we're going to do is I'm going to grab him, move him up here out of the way. Oh, I've got auto save on this map. Right, I need to get rid of auto save. I found on I can't remember which which series it was now, but it caused corruptions. Um, so I do need to get rid of that. No, anyway, we'll start collecting the straw. After this recording, I'll have to go and uh, turn that off. It's a, it's a good mod in, in regards of what it wants to do, but I just found that um, it was the last mod I added to a game, um, and it just caused issues. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look and uh, get rid of that. Eighty-eight percent. Yeah, see there he goes. He was picking up, doing his um, up down rows. So tra the trailer was just in the way. It wasn't the fact he was trying to unload. And again, we're not going to be perfect picking all this up, but um, we'll just race through and get done what we need to get done. Oh, it's pouring with rain again. Just feel for the guys that are um, being flooded in, and uh, one of my workmates actually has been flooded in. Um, it's just a, a pain for them. I mean, they're in yeah, they're in low-lying areas, but um, 
to be flooded in, to be stuck in your house for, for days. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's not good. So I hope uh, everyone that is uh, experienced the f experiencing the flooding and all that sort of stuff is um, staying safe and well. We've had our fair share of it and it just needs to stop, I think. But what we might do is I might take some straw down to the cows first. Otherwise we're just going to double handle. We're going to have to go back up and collect some straw and bring it back down for the cow. So we can kill two birds with one stone. First off, we'll give them straw for the TMR. Okay. A little bit needed there, and I don't think there'll be much needed because I think I've only just recently uh, topped it all up. The last episode or two, I topped it up, so there's not a lot of times gone by since. So that's why it's probably okay. There we go. Yeah, so I only used ten percent. For feed and for bedding, so or for not for bedding, but to help uh, with the manure. So, all right, we go. We'll go off and offload, and then we'll come back to the far to the field and continue on with the field. Okay, let's offload him. Right, let's see what we've got in the way of straw that's been uh, stored because I think it'll come to a point where we don't need straw anymore. Uh, we've only got 379,000 grass and hay. I think I've got more in the actual grass dryer. I think I've got plenty of hay at the moment. Let's go have a look. Grass, grass drying solo. Yeah, we've got a, mil oh, we've got a million hay and we've 536 grass sitting there standby. So yeah, we don't need any more um, grass and hay. Probably don't need much silage either because we've got all this here. Must got all the fields worth, but... Um, oh, hang on, what am I doing? I preempted the order. I wasn't watching what I was doing. Let's finish off loading. Yeah, I was three seconds early. All right, story of my life. Um, Right, so we're going to go continue on with the getting the straw off the field, and uh, yeah, Looking good. We got plenty of sunflower oil coming out through there. We need to um, sell some of that off soon. In fact, I must see when the best. I think sunflower oil is December, uh, January. Sorry, is the best sale time for for that. We'll just start the up down rows i know we were um doing the hetero when we came round. i'll probably just do this one then go around oh no we'll just do the up downs it's okay all right and this time we've we've actually gone past our time yet again we we get so carried away enthused and enjoying our time here that um is he stuck again he's stuck on that tree isn't he that's one of the trees i want to remove right so that's gone that's out of here remove without without delay without prejudice you're gone get out of there now the combo's going to run me over and that should be okay all right yeah so that's going to be it for this episode so thanks very much for watching we'll complete the harvest and also the um hay pickup from this field um, off camera and then when we next come back which will be most likely the next game day um we'll continue on with whatever we have up our sleeve next so um we'll transition to the next day um but we would have had this all completed 
um, by then as well. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the, the series. Um, the series is along, well, there's four series and you'll see them every day. We have videos out every day at the moment. Um, so there's a uh, farming sim every day and then there's also two series of Transport Fever 2. We have our um, European slash Australian conglomerate type uh, series um, which is available on Sundays uh, 6 p.m. so 12 hours after you see the farming sim video the transport fever one will come out and then we have the make America great again series on Wednesdays um, so uh, make sure you check those out as well uh, just brings a little bit more different gameplay in every now and again just to uh, break it up for myself and also break it up for you the viewers and also get different viewers um, as well possibly anyway um, yeah, so if you're interested in those, check those out. Make sure you subscribe so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel, not just the FS22, but anything else. And, um, and yeah, if you do press that, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. And, of course, don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details for all those are down below in the description. And, most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and stay safe for all those uh, that are in the floods. I know it'll be a bit late by the time this comes through, but um, I hope you all stayed safe. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye.